Let's prepare a project and start using some SDK. I'll be using Visual Studio Code Editor and I have already installed Node. So you need both of these software. So link to which is present on your computer screen. You can go there and download those two pieces of important software. Click on this icon and open folder. Uh, I'll be creating a folder called some SDK tutorial. That name makes sense. So some SDK tutorial. So I'll select this folder. And so this is our working space here. All our files will be stored here. Let me remove this. Let me add a file. I'll name it index.js. It's a JS file, JavaScript. So I love this icon, dot, this JS icon. So I'll simply write a console.log and I'll, I'll output welcome onto the console window. So we need a terminal to execute this. So open terminal. So I'll type node space file name, which is index.js and it outputs welcome string onto the console window. So the next thing is we would need our package, which is we need to install our SDK that is some SDK. So npm install npm stands for node package manager in npm install some hyphen SDK. That's the name of our node package that is SDK some SDK. So if you get any error that npm doesn't support your version of node, just make sure to download previous version of node and try to run this program once again. In most cases, it will work. So it will take few seconds to install. So we have 0.1.7 version of this SDK and we found zero vulnerabilities. Okay. So now our package is present inside this node module. So I'll remove this piece of code from the editor and now I'll import our SDK. I'll take a constant. I'll name it some SDK within this curly brackets X U M M S D K equals require. It's, it's equivalent to writing import statement in your Java programming language. So we need to import some SDK, which we installed just now using NPM. So its name is some hyphen SDK. Okay. So now I'll take another constant and I'll create an instance of this some SDK. So capital S remember these are case sensitive. Okay. So I'll invoke the constructor method, which is some SDK. And it takes two parameters that is app ID and app secret. If you have watched our previous video tutorial, you already know how to get app ID and app secret for your application. So replace this app ID app secret string with your real app ID and app secret. Now, now we are not using this yet in our program. So let me create another method or function called main. Uh, this time around, let me have an asynchronous call. Okay, so constant main async. This is modern JavaScript syntax, by the way. So I'll just have some console log statement inside this main method. I'll write some SDK tutorials. So since this is asynchronous call, a thread is created or a child process is created and it waits for the result to be returned. Okay. Meanwhile, the main thread or the main process continues to execute all the code which comes after this asynchronous call. Okay. You don't break or stop for the main method to return the result. Okay. So that's why we write asynchronous calls. So now let me just invoke this method main and since we are not replacing with original app ID and app secret, it will just throw some error. So let us execute this program. So it tells us invalid API key and or API secret. So these error messages are our friends. 
most of the time they tell us where the error is and how we can actually fix it okay so if we enter a dummy data that is dummy app id and app secret it it still finds that it's invalid api key and api secret and how do you think it's possible maybe it's connecting to some server and checking against the original data right so let's replace this dummy data with real data which we copied from yesterday's video tutorial so i'll paste the app secret and then the app id these are valid credentials so now let me execute it and it's working that means the code before this asynchronous call doesn't throw any error that means these app secret and app id are valid and our connection string code are in fact working in our next video tutorial let's make use of this sdk instance and maybe work with payload so stay tuned